Lesson 15.2 is all about recording adjusting entries for um, merchandise inventory, as well as recording um, accrued revenue uh, before you actually receive it. Um, so we'll start first with the adjustment for merchandise inventory. And um, most accounts that need adjustments, such as supplies and uh, prepaid insurance, both of those have um, identified and related expense accounts. So for supplies, it's supplies expense. For prepaid insurance, it's insurance expense. But when it comes to merchandise inventory, we don't have an assigned uh, expense account for merchandise inventory. So what we do is we use this temporary account called income summary. And so we will be um, debiting the adjustment for merchandise inventory to the income summary account. And then we will be crediting the merchandise inventory. So crediting reduces or decreases the amount of merchandise inventory uh, to account what has been used over the course of the month of December. So to record that first entry, we'll put the 31st date. As I mentioned, we will debit income summary, and then we will credit merchandise inventory. Now, to figure out how much uh, the amount is, is we come over here to our unadjusted trial balance for the month of December, and we look at our total number reported on this trial balance. So we've got 94,845. And so from a physical count of merchandise inventory, the December 31st balance um, was determined to be 96,471 and 25 cents. So the difference between these two numbers is the number that we'll report here. So uh, in terms of math, it's 96,471.25. $94,845 and 31 cents. So the adjustment amount for merchandise inventory is $16.25 and 94 cents. All right, the other type of adjustment that we do is in terms of notes receivable that we've given out to customers. So it's where they uh, purchase stuff from us. Um, basically like they're on layaway. So they make a purchase over time and then they pay us interest um, on that note receivable. So we actually want to record the interest um, when we actually accrue it, even though the customer hasn't yet paid us because we do need to close out this year since we're um, in December. So we need to close it out so that nothing's left open for whenever we um, continue on into January. So again, our date will be January 31st. Um, revenue earned from notes receivable from customers is considered income. Uh, even though it's not received until a later date. And as I mentioned, we do want to record that income at the time that it was accrued, not necessarily received from the customer. So this entry will actually increase uh, a receivable account. So it is going to increase our interest receivable. And it will increase or credit one of our um, revenue accounts, which is, um, sorry, interest income. And how you determine this amount that goes here, it's, uh, if you remember back to chapter 14, we learned how to calculate the interest on a notes receivable. So it was the um, total purchase price times the percentage times the number of days out of 360 days in the year. So, um, and you'll notice that our 90 day period has not totally ran out yet. So we have to first calculate the number of days that have elapsed. So the note was originally signed on November 22nd. So if we count from the 23rd until the end of November, which is November 30th, um, that accounts for eight days, so 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. So eight days in November, and then we have 31 days in December. 
So eight plus 31 gives us 39 days. So then what this looks like when we're writing out our calculation, so it would be equals, um, our notes receivable amount is here on the unadjusted trial balance, so $8,000, so 8,000 times the 0 0.08, because our instruction said it was an 8% interest on that note, and then times, we accounted for 39 days, so eight days in November, 31 days in December, totaling 39 days out of 360 days in the year. So when you hit enter, you should get that so far they've accrued interest in the amount of $69.33. All right, the next step is just for you to um, go do the on your own as well as the application problem. And then make sure to submit it to me when you finish. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.